going to kick things off um, with a what we call an elevator intro from each attendee. Uh, we're going to do a round robin. Um, we're going to start alphabetically um, by first name. Um, and what we're after is just a sort of 60, 60 second intro. Um, that can be an intro about you and your company. It can also be a brief about your role, challenges you recently faced, plan for the future, and share any recent good news. Um, so we're going to kick off um, with Asim Munir, who's the Tenant Involvement Coordinator at Rotherham Metropolitan Borough Council. Um, thank you, Joe. Um, good morning, everyone. My name's um, Asim Munir. I work as a Tenant Involvement Coordinator. Um, my role to... Um, is a strategic lead and to coordinate tenant engagement activity across the council and also we're very fortunate in Rotherham because we also contract with uh, our local tenant federation Rotherfed who um, empower and support Tara and tenant to get involved in our housing services as well and um, I'm not going to take too much Joe because I'm going to um, obviously elaborate in the presentation so I don't want to um, go into too much detail now, but no, I'm just um, looking forward to hear what you all have to say and um, look forward to hearing um, your thoughts about Rotherham's approach when I go through our presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Asim. Much appreciated. Um, next up, we've got Ben Andrews, who is the new business manager at Family Fund Business Services. Hello, thank you. Uh, yes, as, as rightly introduced, I'm Ben, and I'm the new business manager at Family Fund Business Service. Um, for those that haven't heard of us, we are a business fulfillment service, and we're also a subsidiary of the Family Fund Charity. Um, it's a charity that administers grants to families that are raising disabled and seriously ill children. Um, we were established in 2013 um, because we recognised that there was a need for local authorities, charities and housing organisations to procure white goods and furniture um, in a more seamless fashion. So at the moment, it tends to be that those that are in need are, are searching here, there and everywhere for best pricing and stock and all these other things. And actually we realized we could make it into a one-stop shop by introducing a portal and by using our connections through the charity to actually offer stock to staff, or stock to our clients, should I say, to make the, to make the shopping process of it so much easier, but also um, by giving them the aftercare that they need as well. And I was just saying previously in the, in the quick networking that um, the majority of our business is white goods and furniture, but over this last year, it's been incredibly hectic with um, vouchers for shopping, vouchers for clothes and vouchers for electricity. So we've seen a real turnaround in our business in terms of what we provide. It's been, it's been absolutely manic, as I'm sure it has for many of you out there, um, but it's been an interesting year, to say the least. Excellent. Thank you, Ben. Uh, next up, we've got Karina Lynch, who is the Continuous Improvement Manager at Progress Housing Group. Yeah, so um, my role is overseeing our housing operations department. So Progress Housing Group manage about 11,000 properties. Um, I'm currently leading on a business transformation, looking at our frontline teams um, and trying to improve our services for our customers, make them a bit more accessible, look at our digital means uh, and reviews that we're doing. So I'm excited to be here. Excellent, thanks Karina, much appreciated. And thank you for coming today. Um, next up, we've got Chris Whitaker, who is Tenant Involvement and Communications Officer at Unity Housing Association. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that's come through. Um, Good morning, Chris. Hi, hi, yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, my name's Chris Whitaker, the uh, Tenant Involvement Communication Officer for Unity. Uh, we are a BME-led uh, housing association based in Leeds. We have 1,300 properties. Um, to come to this uh, session today, I think it will be useful because I guess we have struggled with the... Um, you know, the transition from having our meetings in the office to, to going digital and, uh, you know, any, any advice and uh, recommendations w would be great, you know, to help us move forward on that. Well, you're certainly in the right, in the right group for that, Chris. Thank you for that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, next up, we've got David Lewis, who is co-regulation coordinator at the Rekin Housing Group. Morning, everybody. Um, thank you very much. Um, yeah, 
we were a social landlord. Uh, we've got about 13,000 properties and we're based in Telford. Um, very similar to what Chris has just said. Um, I'm here today to find out a little bit more about engaging people, possibly a bit more digitally. Um, we're quite a rural um, sort of landlord, so lots of people necessarily don't have broadband or the technology. So we're quite far down on that, that journey, but we're progressing. We're getting um, a lot of involvement and a lot of um, interesting ways forward. So I'm just here to learn and, and see, see what's going on. Excellent. Thanks, Dave. Much appreciated. Um, next up, we've got Ed Mead, who is co-founder of Viewba. Um, thank you, Joe. I'm a complete newbie here. So um, it's exciting to meet your body and get into the sector. Viewba is um, a, it's a tech-enabled platform enabling anybody in the property industry to book a local person to go and do a, a local vetted trusted person to go and do an inspection, um, take photographs, um, do a report, write a report, et cetera, et cetera. So what we provide is at the moment, um, 7,000 people bookable via an online platform anywhere in the UK. Um, our, our people are um, going about their daily lives, average age is about sort of mid fifties, they get an alert on their phone to go and do a local job. Um, they're, as I say, they're rated after every job. We vet them. They're on our database. So they're ready to be a, an on-demand resource for you guys when you need someone to go and inspect a property, open a door, do a tenant welfare check, um, and make sure that the, the, for some of you, the, the nationally set out or your, your geographically very diverse properties can be inspected quite regularly. Excellent. Thank you, Ed. Um, next up, we've got Jacob Powell, who is Digital Strategist at Prodo. Yeah, morning, everyone. Um, I'll keep it quite short and sweet because I'm, I'm speaking to you guys a bit more detail later anyway. Um, but yeah, my name is Jacob. I'm Digital Strategist at Prodo. Um, I started with the agency sort of three years ago as an account manager. Um, so working exclusively with a handful of Prodo's um, sort of key housing customers. So I'd like to become quite in tune with the sector's challenges and, and, and ambitions as well. Um, so we're a digital transformation partnership agency, basically all based out of the UK, um, offering services tailored towards housing associations looking to help solve some problems with the use of digital, really, um, from website development to customer portals to chatbots, automation. Um, all sorts of things, but um, yeah, I'll go into a bit more detail on this a little bit later on. Um, and yeah, great to be here. Nice to meet you all. Thank you, Jacob. Um, next up, we've got Joe Edge, who is Senior Growth Manager at MediaWorks. Morning, all. Nice to meet you. I think same as Ed, uh, kind of kind of first time here, but, but happy to be here. So thanks for having us. Um, I think I'm, I'm Senior Growth Manager at MediaWorks. Um, I think, I think for us, you know, we're a full service digital agency. We've gone about 14 years, I've been with the business. Uh, about five years, feels a little bit longer. Um, we're doing a lot of work in the utility sector. Uh, and over the last couple of years, i um, work with some, some really, really exciting kind of housing associations. Similar to Jacob, uh, looking at a lot of the challenges, I think particularly over the last year, that kind of COVID has kind of helped accelerate, to be perfectly honest. And I think, you know, from a digital perspective, from a comms perspective, I'm, I'm sure a lot of us have been sat here saying we're finally being heard. <laughs> from a comms strategy, a lot of that's been accelerated. Um, so for me today, we're doing a lot of work with the Northern Housing Consortium, um, and I'm just excited just to learn a little bit more. We just want to kind of keep ears to the ground, understand exactly what's going on in the sector, constantly up to date with, with challenges that, that other people are facing. Uh, so just, yeah, ex excited to learn and, and listen to everybody else. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. Um, next up, we have got Catherine Graham, who is Communications and Marketing Assistant at Horton Housing Association. Hello. Um, so Horton Housing is based in Bradford and we have services in Polydale, Kirklees and North Yorkshire. Um, it's a supported, so, uh, supported housing association. Um, my role um, is internal comms and client communication, and we're looking to develop that role um, more digitally because we, we now have free Wi-Fi available for clients that we're building on, and um, we're, we we signed up to, to the National Housing Federation to get the way of tenants. So we're hoping to build our relationship with clients in other ways and make it make things more accessible to them. Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, next up, we've got Kitty Hadaway, who is the account manager at Future. Hi, everyone. Um, 
So Future is an automated customer contact messaging solution using conversational AI chatbot technology essentially to help residents get answers to their questions sort of 24 seven in any language on both uh, uh, landlords websites, but also in the apps that tenants are already using every day like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. And um, we're very excited to have been fired to make, to have been nominated to be finalists at the Northern Housing Awards for Supplier of the Year and Product of the Year. So very excited about that, and of course very excited to be here today. So thank you, Joe, for having me. You're very welcome, Kitty. Thank you for that. Thank you for the nice plug for the Northern Housing Awards there as well. Appreciate that, uh, and congratulations again on making the shortlist. Um, as as is as for Sim as well, of course, and Golden Borough Council are also uh, shortlist in four categories this year, I do believe. Um, so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll I'll press on. Um, next up, we've got Lucy Owen, who is the Communications and Engagement Officer at Green Square Accord. Hi there. So um, I'm recently joined as um, engagement comms and engagement officer, and we're just trying to build up ways of talking to our tenants more and um, so um, communications are quite regular and um, work a lot um, we've already got a really good engagement team but this is just sort of to develop develop it further and yeah I just want to see how um, how other housing associations have worked it and what might work for us and what might not and yeah thanks for having me today. Thank you, Lucy. Excellent. Um, next up, we've got Nicola Wilson Sanders, who is an account manager at MRI Software. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, so I have recently um, started just before Christmas at MRI um, as an account manager, um, looking after predominantly the, the north of, um, of England. Um, MRI are um, a global uh, provider of uh, real estate um, software solutions, and they've been around for 50 years. Actually, we're celebrating our 50th um, anniversary. Uh, and we've got um, over 10, uh, you know, sort of million properties that we look after globally, um, 17,000 clients. But in the UK, um, we are the sort of leading provider of uh, web-based solutions for housing associations and local authorities in the UK and Ireland. Uh, and what we um, provide is um, comprehensive social um, housing um, applications and software that's basically transforming um, uh, tenants' lives and the experiences uh, and the way that they interact with their social housing providers, um, giving them sort of flexibility. Uh, and that's kind of really our sort of our goal uh, and working with um, housing providers and local authorities to achieve that. Excellent. Thank you, Nicola. Um, and I think the award for most glamorous virtual background has to go to Nicola. <laughs> Apolo apologies. <laughs> I, I actually didn't realise um, that, that this background was on. It was from um, an award ceremony that we did um, through Zoom. And I haven't used Zoom for such a long time. Um, and I've tried, you know, frantically behind the scenes to change the background to something a little bit more corporate. Um, so apologies. <laughs> All right. Looks like you're in a night out. Right. <laughs> if only, if only, yeah. Um, right, thank you, Nicola. Next up, we've got uh, Peter Helly, who is Community Engagement Manager at Green Square Accord. Hi, yeah, if I'd, if I'd done this a couple of weeks ago, I'd have been Community Engagement Manager at Accord. So I think um, that, that, that our lives, and Lucy, my colleague just before me as well, um, have been very much filled up with merger things. Um, so two equal, equal sized organizations, housing associations merging in the last um, few months. And now we're furiously working together to, to see, see how far we can merge what we're doing. Um, I run a very small team. I, I think at the moment I'm, uh, our team's called the North because we're more North than Green Square Accord are. We're the West Midlands there down Oxfordshire way. So I run a small team that covers Accord in the North, um, which is the Midlands, confusingly. Um, and we do all, all things engagement and we've been really kind of stepping up around digital um, means to engage since we've been all locked down in the last sort of 18 months. So. Um, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. So it's gone from everything COVID to everything merger for me. So, yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Peter. I'm sure that's been quite a journey for you. 
Um, next up, we've got uh, Phil Morgan, who is um, an independent tenant consultant. Hi, uh, morning, Joe. Morning to everybody. Yes, independent tenant consultant specialising in involvement, scrutiny, co-regulation, compliance, and have done work for, amongst others, in the past. Regan and hi today. We've not seen each other for a long time, actually. Um, also on the board of the Guinness Partnership, panel advisors and housing ombudsman, um, chair of my local health watch, is where I have to disappear at about 11 o'clock today, uh, and resident board member of my entire block in Flamble Cladding, judge for the Northern Housing Awards, uh, speaker, which is where one or two of you will come across me previously, um, and uh, in great interest in diary management, um, which is... Uh, important. I suppose one of the interesting things for me has been about training through digital means and trying to get some kind of team ethos through digital means. Um, the training I think is probably solvable. I think the team ethos is going to be very difficult to do purely through digital mechanisms. Um, so just interest in learning about what others are doing on that. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Phil. Always a pleasure to have you, Phil. Um, next up, we've got Rebecca Clark who is Head of Customer Experience at Wolverhampton Homes. Here's Joe. thank you. Nice to meet everybody as best as we can anyway. Um, outside of my role at Wolverhampton Homes that I've only started four weeks ago, I think if I'm keeping track. Um, I'm also a board member at Phoenix Community Housing, so really strong kind of resident focus and leadership. So interesting all of that. And I think for us, there's a lot of conversations going on at Wolverhampton at the moment as to what we do to reopen face-to-face -face services or whether or not we need to. Um, so that's quite a big review, I guess, that will go on in the coming weeks ahead of being able to open anything up if we decide to do so. So interested to, to hear from people about how they're approaching that, I guess, and the digital impact over the last few months. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, next up, um, we've got Rob Shelton, who is Sales and Finance Director at Shelton Development Services. Are you there, Rob? I, hello. I came a bit late to the call. Yes, apologies for being a bit late. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. I'm uh, a director at uh, Shelton Development Services. We're a software and uh, consultant um, company, and uh, we've recently um, we've recently developed some software that will work as a kind of CRM solution for. Uh, housing associations and local authorities, etc., um, particularly uh, suited to selling shared ownership. Um, so it's kind of a hybrid system. It's a bit more than just contact and lead management. It does um, letters and workflow, and it's got cal financial affordability calculators built into it. So, you know, I was just interested to come today and uh, hear some of the stuff that um, is obviously impacting our customers. So, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for joining us today. Um, next up, we've got Russell Peace, who is the Resident Engagement Officer at Great Yarmouth Borough Council. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, hope everyone's good. Um, yeah, no, I do sort of the resident engagement, um, service improvement at Great Yarmouth, and um, I think I'm particularly working on at the moment, just really kind of get um, our feedback and insight um, sorted out. So we're getting some really good sort of information and can work with our customers um, with regards to that. And I think I'll, I'll be short and swift and say, looking forward to when I can get back out on the seafront with some ice cream and donuts. So the beauty of working in Yarmouth, it yeah, yeah, means you get to have that, that nice uh, sea breeze and walk sometimes. So um, I'm looking forward to today and, and well, as I was gonna say, thank you. Excellent, thank you for that. Uh, Russell, um, sounds lovely. Um, next up, we've got uh, Selena Hanley, who is the founder of the charity Benevolent Life Change. Hi, Joe, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Selena. All right, okay. Um, so I am the founder of Benevolent Life Change, which is um, an alternative education house for 16 to 18 year old care leaving girls that would predominantly end up um, pregnant within the first 10 to 18 months of um, leaving care. So we use alternative education um, as well as housing to get them academic qualifications and get them life skill ready to move on and help them understand and find their why. Thank you. Thanks, Selena. Um, next up, we've got Sophie Ashford, who is the resident engagement team leader at Sully Hall Community Housing. 
Hi, so I'm Sophie, and first of all, I'd like to apologise that number one, my camera isn't working, and that number two, I've got roadworks going on outside my house, so lots of noise and drilling, so apologies if there's interruption or you can't hear me. Um, yep, so I'm the resident engagement team leader for Solihull Community Housing, focusing on resident engagement and service improvement. Um, Solihull Community Housing is an ALMO, um, and we run housing services for um, Solihull well, SMBC, Solihull Council. Um, we've got ten, just over 10,000 homes, 1,000 leaseholders, 5,000 garages, plus shared ownership and temporary accommodation units that we manage. Um, so more recently, my team were sort of redeployed into coordinating the Operation Shield re response for Solihull Council. So that's been our main focus over the last year. However, in um, two weeks before lockdown and the very first pandemic, we launched our new engagement framework, which was a bit of a difficult time to be launching it, but we went with it anyway. Um, it's It's gone really well. We've done everything virtual and digitally so far. Um, and basically, we're just looking at how we look at reopening face-to-face -face services at the moment, um, but at the same time, trying to keep that virtual digital impact. So we're not putting our more vulnerable vulnerable residents um, at risk and we're also just launched our sprinklers being fitted into all of our 37 high rises so that's a massive project that we're undertaking at the moment. Excellent thank you Sophie. Um, finally uh, last but not least we've got Steve Alcock who is director of ICT data and digital at Johnny Johnson Housing. Cheers, Joe. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you all. Um, so, yeah, I'm Steve. I have been in the housing sector now for 12 months. Um, I am a lockdown baby uh, from, a, from a new sector uh, perspective. So um, for me, we've uh, I think we've all managed incredibly well um, across our sector in the last 12 months to, to keep the lights on and, and to, to keep business moving along. Um, for us, we've we've really focused the last 12 months on getting our foundations right, you know, making sure that our IT infrastructure is where it needs to be to support a permanent move to a hybrid flexible working model. We've we've taken the, the leap to, to make this a permanent feature for all of our colleagues. Um, and for us this next year, it's all about delivery. So it's all about delivering new digital capabilities to our residents. Um, and, and being able to accelerate um, our digital offer. Um, for me, I, I love coming along to these events. It's great to meet lots of varied people from different backgrounds, different uh, organizations. Um, I, I would say the housing sector is, is, is very open and honest with each other. You know, there's, there's a slightly non-competitive approach to, to collaboration uh, across the housing sector, which is incredibly refreshing for someone that's come from a, uh, from a corporate private sector background um, and yeah just really keen to hear what others are doing we've we've set out our uh, transformation roadmap for the next 12 months which we feel is very ambitious and exciting but I'm always very keen to hear what others are doing and selfishly pinch some ideas <laughs> brilliant all in the spirit all in, all in the spirit of collaboration absolutely um, <laughs> thank you Steve much appreciated and pleasure to have you on the call again